So look at this. We got the Gen 3 Starlink box. Haven't seen the first two models, but when I did the, saw the thing for the early access, well, we had to check it out and see what it was all about. If you're new to the channel here, well, this is OG. And he helps out with a lot of stuff. That's actually his initials, OG. Do the honors, OG. Open it. I'll start from here first. So yeah, we did put our logo on it to cover up our address. This that? That's all it is. <laughs> there's more. But wait, there's more. You want to pick it up out of there? That's the dish. Don't drop it. Oh. Right. This is a little different deal. It's food on the bottom. It's not food. It's stuff. It's just dust and stuff. So, Take it. it looks like you just need to... I remember the other one had moved and stuff. It looks like a Cat 5 port. Let me see. Let me see. Down in there. <laughs> So I'm guessing their power over Ethernet deal. The other dish had motorized. This is just, let's put it down on my shag carpet. That's interesting. So you just sit it there and it has a bracket. I'm hoping you can mount it somewhere. So let's see what else is in the box here. Um, oh yeah, look, got their cable, little router. Power supply, right there. like the other deal, and um, they're just showing you how to do it. It should be pretty simple. Okay, I call so it. So let's see what we got here. This is their. I'll take it out. Pick it up. <laughs> That's their, the little router power supply. Looks like in and out, just like the picture. What else we got, buddy? The cord. The there. cord, just a long cord that goes from the router to the satellite dish. Now, this cord. This one, what cord is this for? Mm -hmm. Is this for that? No, that's the power supply. Pull the power supply out. So you gonna help me hook all this up? Yes, sir. And pretty cool to get the internet out of the sky from the satellites. Um, I know we have a lot of weather issues and hurricanes, everything over here. There's several times I would have wanted to use this, especially dealing with my cable ISP, Cox cable that sucks. I'm not finding any mounts to mount this dish anywhere. You just set it out somewhere. That's interesting. So let's go plug all this in and um, see how this works. So installation is fairly simple. You really just plug in the cable in the bottom of it and point it toward the northern sky. It's that stupid simple. Make sure you don't have any obstructions. I've got the roof line here and some trees, my OTA antenna right here, but that doesn't impact it at all. ADSB over there, no issues. It sees it all as an unobstructed view of the northern sky luckily to the south i had a big tree but this points north it does make sure in the app that you do point it north and you do have it incline correctly it will tell you that which is pretty cool i just did a temporary install in the back patio this is the router and you just plug in the ethernet cable from the actual starlink dish and then the regular power supply and put this wherever you would like there is a little rubber plug that goes on the back of this and covers up these ethernet ports it's labeled as two and three so pretty cool that you can do this in bypass mode and then you can just use this as you know an isp backup and tie it into your router or you can just tie it into your existing stuff like if you have a mesh network across the house pretty cool that they've done this but the only thing is this cable you'd have to get creative to get this larger gauge cable that is pre-made. I know there's some aftermarket things for this, but you may have to look into that, especially trying to make this all weatherproof without tearing up things on the house. So one thing I did notice after using this for a few days, 
I remember the other models had like some motors on the bottom and everything and it would point itself. Well, it looks like they have done away with that in this particular model. And it just has the little kickstand on the bottom. Now they do have some other accessories and things if you want to go on their website and get the pole mount, the wall mount, etc. But definitely they've made this really more portable because you can just bring it wherever and slap it in the yard and call it done. It points, point it north, it does the thing, and you're done. It really didn't have to get it exactly north, and it still worked. Didn't complain about that I was pointing the wrong direction. I did try and just lay it flat. I even tried pointing it south. It does complain when you do that, though. Now, of course, it does come with this Gen 3 router. I'm not familiar with the previous model, so I went and did a little research and looked at, yeah, this is the Wi-Fi 6 model, and it does have the two Ethernet out ports on the back. And I guess that's for when you're doing like bypass mode, etc. So the Starlink always goes in there. So would you buy one? If you didn't have a decent landline, you know, cable, ISP, fiber, whatever, copper, whatever it is, and you just need the internet and you had, look at those other satellite providers, absolutely. This thing blows the out of the water. I've had to deal with satellite internet out in the boonies, like on the KU band stuff. I don't even know what the name thing, like Wild Blue, and there's like Dish had one for a while. Those were absolutely just horrible to use ping times were like in the thousands this is a totally different world like you really shouldn't even call it satellite internet and i, I guess they try to keep away from that just call it starlink internet because it is totally a different ball game the ping times were way super low you know, due to the satellites being closer instead of in that geostationary but all the geekiness out of it this thing is stupid simple like anybody could set it up. OG could set it up. It was that simple. You really just plug in the couple wires to it, set it out in the yard, follow the things on the app, and it goes through and you're pretty much done and you're on the internet pretty much no matter where you're at, at least in the U.S. and all the other areas that they do service showing on their map. And I had heard of the Starlink stuff before, but I really, once you experience it firsthand, you can see how much of a total game changer it is being able to use the internet and everything out in the middle of nowhere where you don't have any like cell signal and stuff like that, which is fairly easy to do in my state of Louisiana. We have some very rural areas. Price of this thing is going to be like the same. I think right now they're the residential packages are what, like $120 a month. That's pretty damn pricey, but hell, with Cox Cable, I was paying way more than that to try to get 35 megabit upload, and then, then you had to do gig, and then you had to get unlimited data. I was paying like 160 bucks a month when you're on Cox Cable. Now, different ISPs, of course, you know, don't rip you as much as that, but hey, if you want to live that rule of life, well, and you want to have the internet, then 120 ain't bad. I wish it was still the 100 like it used to be, but they did back off of doing those data caps and kept it unlimited, which is good. I had no issue like YouTube and Netflix and all the various streaming apps, downloads, updates. It just worked seamlessly, and sometimes I couldn't even tell I was on Starlink. So pretty cool to check out the new generation, the Gen 3 dish, the Gen 3 router. Pretty decent stuff. Now, performance-wise, I don't really have a lot to compare with. I don't have the other gens here to compare, and it does make a difference based on, you know, the usage in your area, etc. But I never saw anything less than like 20 or 30 megabit. And like maybe five upload was the slowest, but at most times it was 75, 80, 90 megabit down. Pretty damn good if, you know, you don't have any other options because the other satellite stuff just sucks. And... Yeah, this is the only game in town right now that, you know, that has this United States. I know Amazon's trying to roll theirs out pretty aggressively. So hopefully we'll see some competition there. And uh, yeah, it's a game changer for doing the internet, which, yeah, what we all need. You know this. So I do appreciate you watching. Couldn't do it without you, all the Patreon members, YouTube members, and y'all press all them buttons down there. Subscribe, bell icon, whatever it may be, and y'all take care.
gotta stand still. Raise your arms above your head. <laughs> like it turns like <laughs> <laughs> 